Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is about NetSuite, SuiteScript 2.0, and basically I've, here I have a function that what it's going to do is just close uh, a sales order. So you can name it close sales order. And basically it takes one argument, which is the sales order internal ID. And as you can see here, I'm using the record uh, module. We're going to load it based on that argument and the type is a sales order and we're going to use the dynamic to true. So here I have a variable which is going to count how many items this sales, the sales order has. And we're going to get the count by saying order get line count and we're going to say specifically what the item or the tab on your screen is going to be, which is the item. This just logs the count. In here we have a while loop. So while we have items, we're gonna be uh, selecting those. So we're gonna select that, the first, which is usually one. And then we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna change the this field, which is, is close, and we're gonna set it to true. So we're gonna go through each item and set it to true. Is close equals true. And then we're gonna commit. So uh, if first line, you change the value or you set the value and then you commit that line. And then the next line, and here we increment that variable. And the next and then the next. So depending how, mu how many items you have, this might take a while. So make sure that you're, if you're running a lot of sales order, many multiple sales orders with multiple items, make sure you do this in a schedule because if you run this in the front end, it's gonna time out or run out of uh, units. So keep that in mind. And then the last thing is to say order that save. There's not an update, so it's just called save. So save, it will basically close out the items. And then you can return true if everything went fine. If something happened, you can return false. In this case, that's how using the function here. But that's how you do it. Obviously, if you're adding, uh, if you're changing this value, you can also set other values that you might need in your case, in your particular case. So that's all for this video. It's all about how you can close sales order items. You can select mul multiple items or you can specify what item you want to close. But in this example, it's closing everything. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.